Um, he got out, no? Our boy? Adnan? Yeah. He did it, though. He totally did it. I don't think any of... There's not a single one of those, like, true crime, we got the wrong guy fucking stories. Yes. Where they they actually... No, it's just... It's liberals getting fleeced by criminals. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Yeah. I love it. Making a murderer is like that. Making a murderer guilty. Yeah. <laughs> guilty. The, the fucking without a doubt, the shit they, that, that, are, are we far enough away from when that aired? The nephew was so funny, Brendan. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, I, do you remember when that came out, what year that was? Hey, everyone thought that guy was innocent. Everyone did. It was crazy. Yeah. People were like, fuck, people were harassing that prosecutor, that guy with that, who's, who just sucks anyway. <laughs> the girl voice. Yeah, that little woman, but yeah. <laughs> He did everything he could to harm this woman. <laughs> Ken, 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 Ken Craps. His name was like Ken Craps. Yeah, it was like Ken. Ken Crap. Ken yeah. Kratz. Yeah, Ken Kratz. Ken Kratz. Yeah. yeah. With his fucking and weak then, ass voice. And then he raped her he, with his penis. He and this man is sick. He's depraved. <laughs> yeah, and so like that's obviously that man is a natural target for bullying. Yeah. You know? Crap. But people were really going after that prosecutor, and then it was kind of irresponsible on the part of the, the people that made the documentary. It's also like irresponsible of Netflix, even because <laughs> it's like, oh yeah, this is good it's drama. It's just not true. We're gonna have to leave out. Let's just go. It's it, you know what? It's fine, even though Stephen even Avery though, was the guy. Yeah, right? Stephen Avery. Even though we're gonna fucking like, you know, cause a lot of problems for everybody in this documentary that isn't on the side of Stephen Avery. Yeah. They're going to get harassed because of this. Correct, yeah. Uh, I, I still think it's important that we leave out the part where there's receipts for the chains <laughs> <laughs> and the handcuffs <laughs> and the fact that he had already had a prior relationship with this woman. Yes, the, correct. The, 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 the correct. man accused of murdering this woman already knew who she was yeah. and requested her specifically to come to his property. <laughs> and we'll just and we'll just frame it as he had never met this woman before. <laughs> like, this is outlandish. He's dumb as shit. Yeah, the, this is outlandish. His family lights garbage on fire. Yeah, These people just, are, are trash. Yeah, right. The county hated the Averys. Mm -hmm. They've had a vendetta against these these absolute like uh, these hillbillies. Yeah. And then he used his penis. Yeah, Ken Kratz. He put his penis inside of her. Okay, yeah. Yo, just I want to hear his voice one. Mm. <laughs> Ken Crap. <laughs> He's like fat too. Yeah, if you search him, the first thing that comes up is Facebook. Ken Kratz is a douchebag. Everyone hates that guy. Uh, yeah, and he looks even worse now. <laughs> and he used. <laughs> Dude, that guy, yeah. I mean, that guy was a great character, mm -hmm. for sure. Dude, when uh, when the nephew talks about what he does, what they're doing to the woman. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because then Ken Kratz, he had an affair, too. That came out. Oh, yeah, that came out. He was year. like, I can't wait to kiss your pussy in such <laughs> sexual ways. I'm Steve Schuster, managing editor of the Wisconsin Law Journal. I'm here in Fond du Lac, Wisconsin today with Ken Kratz, the former prosecutor of Stephen Avery and former Calumet County District Attorney. Hi, Ken. We're talking today about the Why new is he standing press like release that? that just came out on the rebuttal Busty. to making a murderer, convicting a murderer, which will be aired this summer. And uh, do you have any comment on that? I understand that the new uh, docu-series is a 10-part series similar to Making a Murderer 1 and 2. So they had 20 hours to uh, badmouth the state and to uh, call cops... Um, criminals and the like, and so finally the general public is going to get to see the real evidence, I hope. This is so funny. This is because it's coming out now. No one cares. No one cares. It's also too. It's like like he doesn't understand that 
there is 90% of the time nobody's actually after justice. They're looking for a smoke screen through yeah, a which, fun story. Through which, like a movie. Through which, they're looking for a smoke screen through which they can sublimate their own desire to bully and harass those they determine to be weak. Correct. Which is a man with a girl voice. <laughs> you know, it's like if you knew nothing about the case and you saw a video of Kate Pratt, the voice of a girl. You said, oh, I wish there was a way I could go after this guy. Yeah, he's really fat. He looks like a pig. And he sounds like And he sounds like a yeah. girl. Oh, is he is it prosecutorial misconduct? Great. This guy, let's get him. Yeah, let's get him. Yeah. So f- finally, my story is going to be told. During the case, uh, we'll get to know why the defense assertions of planting evidence and uh, other um, wrongs that the police department or prosecution was involved in uh, just didn't happen at all. And although I haven't seen the series yet, I, uh, I'm going to be uh, allowed to view it, I think, before it, it comes out. Uh, but I understand it, too. Yeah. Ken Kratz sexting. <laughs> Who is he sexy with? Yeah, so... Yeah, this happened in 2010. The documentary? This, this is 2010. Is when this... Uh, yeah, he had an affair with a domestic abuse client. Oh, so he was doing like a... I'll protect you from the, from the evil man. Yeah, she knows. He was com. trying to hurt you. If you're part of the population that became obsessed with Netflix's docuseries Making a Murderer over the holidays, 